job. So for the last video, ang nag-include ako ng tatlong new Lamia jobs. For the following video, for today, so gagawa po ako ng video for care a giver jobs dito sa Canada. So I have uh, two or we have two listings po dito sa Job Bank Canada. So one is uh, child caregiver, the second one is live-in caregiver uh, under persons with disabilities. So kung may experience po kayo as caregiver with specific related experience caring for some persons with disabilities and then child caregiver. So check nyo po tong video na to sa mga kabayan po natin ng mga nag inquire somehow related po sa work ng uh, domestic helper. Okay mga kabayan, so for first uh, caregiver job, again ito po ay child caregiver position uh, for private home and then check po natin I'm just gonna browse here and then check po natin ang description again ito po sa mga kababayan po natin kakachun in lang uh, under po ito ng Canada Job Bank child caregiver position in a private home po sa Canada so with approved LMIA na po ito and then Okay, so ito po yung magiging employer nyo under James Laverty and Vanessa Laverty based in North York, Ontario. So ito po part po ito ng uh, GTA, yun po yung uh, Greater Toronto Area. So it's looking for candidates for the position of child caregiver, private home with one vacancy po. The ones chosen to be employed will be required to start ASAP or as, as soon as possible. The vacancies refer to the permanent employment, again yung same ng description, parati po nilang ini-indicate. Uh, refer to the employment as full-time job. Uh, the employer, James and Vanessa Laverty, has an approved labor market impact assessment, LMIA, to hire a foreign worker to fill labor shortage or skill shortage on a temporary basis. Uh, they always include it in the description. Kaya na sinasabi ko po sa videos, it's a last resort kung wala pong mahanap ng mga loko sa mag-apply po. Again, employer name, uh, James Laverty and Vanessa Laverty, position child caregiver, private home, vacancy 1, salary $15 hourly for 30 to 40 hours per week. Full-time location, North York, Ontario. So maganda rin po rito pag napunta kayo rito, nasa big cities na siya, ang location. Sa part ng, oh, yeah, part ng GTA in Toronto. Job description po, the candidate will be required to tend to, tend to emotional well-being of children. So ayun, basahin nyo rin po no, yung mga ano, description niya, andyan naman po. Candidate will be required to take children to and from school and to appointments. Same nung nani job ng last video ko. So yeah, as said in the uh, title ng job, child caregiver. So mostly you're taking care of the kids. Will be required to supervise and care for children. Required to prepare and serve nutritious meals. Uh, organize activities such as games, outings for children. Maintain a safety, healthy environment in the home. Required to instruct children in personal hygiene, social development. Uh, discipline children according to the method requested by the parents. The candidate will be required to bait the children. Required to dress the children. Feed them. To prepare children for rest periods. Uh, wash clothing, household linens, iron and press clothing in household linens. Travel oh. will be required to travel with family on trips. Required to assist with child supervision and housekeeping duties. Required to shop for food and household supplies. Required to perform light housekeeping cleanest duties. Assume full responsibility for household in absence of parents. The ten children of ages three years or to garden age four to five years old. Required to ten. Okay will be required to work in the employer's or the client's home. Requirements. So ito po, double check nyo rin po. Should have a secondary high school graduation certificate. At least high school graduate po sa mga nag i po sa atin dyan. Marami po. Kung pwede ba mag-apply ang mga kababayan natin na high school graduate. So ito po, specific sa job na to, caregiver, uh, high school graduate po at least. Then should have an experience of at least one year to less than two years. So take note of that po mga kabayan. Should have knowledge in emergency child care first aid. Be able to work in employer's home. Should be able to work under pressure. Uh, should be able to handle heavy loads. Manage repetitive tasks. Manage repetitive tasks. Will be physically demanding. Should be flexible. Be focused on the client. Should be reliable. 
have effective interpersonal skills. Again, excellent oral communication, written communication, should have clarity of judgment, should be organized, should know English. Anyone who is eligible to work can, can apply for this job. Otherwise, the application will not be considered valid. So for now, ito po pala, ang in-hire is inland applicant, yung mga nandito po sa Canada na mga uh, temporary foreign workers. But you can try to send them po uh, your resume and then CV. Then uh, we'll see. Sometimes if you have uh, uh, extensive uh, work experience related dito, minsan kinukonsider ng mga employer yun. And then, yeah, just uh, tell them about your related work experience dito sa job. And then, hopefully, uh, malay nyo, may sponsor lang kayo ng employer. So, second job po, mga kabayan, for caregiver. Live-in caregiver. You'll work under persons with disabilities. So, let's see. Check natin. Ito po yung employer. Nirva Guerrier, or Guerrier, based in Orleans, Ontario, is looking for live-in caregiver. Persons with disabilities with one vacancy. The ones chosen to be employed will be required to start work as soon as possible. Has an approved LMIA to hire a foreign worker to fill skills shortage and labor shortage temporary basis. Uh, again, locals are encouraged to apply. The vacancies refer to the employment and full job. The shift will extend in the day. Okay, yan po yung name ng employer, Nirva Guerrier. Guerrier. Live-in caregiver under persons with disabilities. One, vacancy. $18 per hour for 40 hours per week. Employment, full-time, Orleans, Ontario. Job description. I will require to provide personal care to clients, provide companionship to the clients, prepare and serve nutritious meals to the clients, plan therapeutic diets and menus for the clients, perform light housekeeping and cleaning duties for the clients, launder clothing and household linens for the clients, collect specimens from the clients, administer bedside and personal care for the clients, administer medications, and assist the clients in regular exercise, Assist clients with bathing and other aspects of personal hygiene. Give care to elderly people. Give care to persons with physical disabilities. Give care to females. Uh, required to assume full responsibility of the household in absence of employer. Handle a uh, weight of around 81 and 100 kilograms. Then for equivalence of pounds. Will be required to handle heavy loads. Will be required to do work that is physically demanding. One might also have in, engaged in a lot of bending, couching, kneeling, which the candidate should be comfortable with, will be required to work in the employer's or client's home. Room and board will be provided to the candidates for your accommodation. Work setting will be an urban area. No smoking will be allowed in the premises. Requirements for uh, the candidate should have a, at, oh, again at least secondary high school certificate or diploma. Have equivalent, have equivalent experience in the concerned field. Have an experience in nursing and other related activities. Should have a personal support worker certificate. Have a health care aid certificate. Have a minimum experience of one to two years in the concerned field. Have a thorough criminal record check. Have reference from trusted sources. Allowed in the work site environment. Should be willing to travel again with the family. If needed, is available for the candidate to use, should be able to work under pressure, handle repetitive tasks, will be physically demanding, available for the clients, will receive medical benefits and other benefits. That's good. Should be flexible, have excellent auto communication, should have very good written communication, should be dependable, should be reliable, have clarity of judgment, should be very well organized should have punctual, uh, should have effective interpersonal skills, should be focused on clients. Candidates should know French. Promotes equal employment opportunities for all job applicants, including those members, again, visible minorities, youth, newcomers, Canada, and students. Okay, so for this job, uh, the employer uh, require you to know French. So if you know someone po na marunong magsalita ng French, even basic. Inform you na po sa kanila tong uh, job opening. Again, uh, live in caregiver under persons with disabilities. Alright, so that's it for this video, mga kabayan. Again, ang video po na to is para po dun sa mga kababayan natin na may caregiver 
um, work experience or related work relevant experience. Hopefully, one of you guys uh, makakuha ng job na to, uh, mahire ng Canadian employers. And uh, para rin po sa pamilya nyo, makatulong din po kayo. So again, um, thank you for watching this video. Just keep safe always and God bless.